Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today I'd like to recommend you my favorite sports drink, green tea. And I'd like to explain you why I think this is a better choice for many people compared to the regular bottled sports drink. I love all kinds of tea. But when it comes to drink before or after workout, I mean, for that specific purpose, I pretty much always choose green tea. And of course, you can drink that during the workout. It's just, uh, I personally, I don't drink much during workout. Green tea, just like coffee, has caffeine, which helps improve your workout performance and uh, help fight against the fatigue and give you a little boost of energy after workout. Besides caffeine, green tea also has vitamin C. Let me be clear, green tea has vitamin C, but it's not a huge amount. If you are really looking for a big source for vitamin C, pepper, kiwi, those will be a better option. Uh, if you happen to be in Asian market and see this fresh date or fresh prune, grab that. That has like many times more vitamin C content than even kiwi. Vitamin C facilities and accelerate the breakdown of fat cells. So I wouldn't mind to have a little vitamin C in my sports drink. What I value the most in green tea is L-theanine. I did a video on L-theanine a while ago. If you're interested, feel free to check that out. L-theanine on its own is calming, anti-stress, and relaxing. It also works great with other compounds in tea like caffeine and tea polyphenol. Together, they stabilize the cortisol level in our body. And when we work out, it's quite important to manage the cortisol level in our body, make sure it doesn't rise up too much because it, it makes us feel very tired, a slow recovery, and uh, might even have sleeping issues. And it also concentrates the fat on the belly area and kind of uh, prohibit the growth of the muscle, which is exactly what we don't want, right? So for me to drink green tea with alfine in it is a major, major bonus. Of course, uh, green tea and white tea both have a good amount of alfine. However, green tea has a little bit more vitamin C. Uh, so personally, I choose green tea, but white tea is a great choice too. And of course, tea has many antioxidants like terpenes, polysaccharides, tea polyphenols, amino acids and uh, minerals are also great for our body, especially uh, after workout is actually a weak time of our immune system. So have a little bit of these antioxidants is always helpful for the body. And if you like to drink tea like how I demonstrated here with Gaiwan or directly from the cup, you might by accident swallow or chew up some tea leaves, which is a great source for quercetin. These many, many nutrients is exactly why I prefer green tea rather than sports drink. Many of us exercise, but might not reach the intensity level that we actually need electrolyte drinks. And if we have the more traditional, classic North American diet, like burgers and fries and uh, often eat out or eat a lot of prepared meals, we are very likely already overdose on sugar and salt. And there's a good amount of additional sugar and salt in those um, sports drinks and extra calorie that we actually don't need. However, if you're running marathon or you do high intensity workout for a long time, over an hour, or you're exposed in a very hot and humid environment for an extensive time, you need a proper sports drink. And no tea in that case is sufficient. What do you drink for workout? Do you drink tea or do you prefer the regular uh, sports drink like a Gatorade? Let me know in the comment down below. Until next time, keep steeping.